did not know that we it's had like, It's like Harold and the 33rd or something. So. I'm sort of not surprised. Also, we're live on the internet. Hello, Sue's going to eat lunch. Maybe okay, not I'm live. Just, I'm also just going to be very calm. Why, why are you going to be calm? Think about the coyotes? <clears throat> or just in general? Just in general. Oh, okay. Uh, would you like me to save this for you? Yes. I am not hungry right now. When you walk by, can you just bump the the thing up a little bit? Hey, Catherine! Um, so we don't really have like a set game that we're going to play yet. We were kind of just waiting to see what people wanted us to play. Um, we have a selection that I pulled out for a photo last night that I was like, these seem like good games to start with. Um, so yeah, we'll probably... Um, Doo -doo. We will probably do... Wow, it says games exclamation point. Oh, should I do this later? No. I think it's fine right now. We could actually just probably open the blinds. Or do that. That's fine, too. Hey, Eden. Hey, David. So, um, I'm just gonna let the chat, like, pick what we play. Yeah. Um, the selection's not entirely on camera, but we're just gonna do some, like, nice, easy starters. So we have Claim which is a two-player trick-taking game from Scott Alms, who is the tiny epic designer. He also did Coaster Park, uh, Dicey Peaks, um, Kings of Air and Steam. Scott Alms is great. We really like his games. So when I saw that he had a two-player trick-taking game out, I was like, heck yeah. So that is one that we could start with. Um, pretty exciting. Santa Maria would be so awesome to play. Uh, I will happily play Santa Maria with Steve in, I think, the next game. I think. Oh, hey, Heavy. Um, uh, it's not with Stronghold. Uh, it's with Spielweis, who is the owner game producer of those games. But thank you! Stronghold just does the North American printing. So, yeah. But thank you. Um, it's, I have had a deal with them for a while. So, now it's just extending. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we also have, um, some games that I think, I'm gonna see if I can do this, it will destroy my tower, but, um, Topiary, which is from Danny Devine, um, which, I don't know how, how interesting this would be two-player. Topiary? Yeah. I think I played it at two-player. I think it would be a lot more, um... Maybe I didn't play it at two-player. I think it'd be a lot more strategic, whereas in four player, you're kind of doing the best that you can in the situation you have. So there's that. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, man, where's X Meeple? Um, we also have Perfect Hotel, which I don't think this would be two player. Very good, which makes me a little sad. So it's, it's a little bit of a drafting game. We played it at four player, I think. Uh, Three or four is the secret. It seems like it's more fun when yeah. you're... So I'm going to put that one to the side. Yeah, but we have Sunny Day, which I love. Um, and this was like one of my top picks from Essen. It probably will not be Amer available in American distribution for quite a while. So maybe not Someone less pick it up. interesting. Yeah. Um, Who knows? Um, we have the Carcassonne two-player edition, which isn't... It's just Carcassonne for two players. So it's just less, less tiles. Right? It's just less tiles. Um, and there's smaller tiles... And the meeples are a little smaller, but it's like the same subset. It's not like a new, unique subset of tiles. So I don't know if that's interesting to anyone. Did you gonna have Essen Vlogs? Yes! The Essen Vlogs are rolling out to my Patreon supporters. So my Patreon supporters already have access to Vlogs Day 0 and 1. And uh, they'll have Day 2 probably sometime this weekend. And then... For everyone else, the SN Vlogs will start rolling out next week, starting on Wednesday. So, yeah. There's that. If you like early access to my SN videos, including uh, deep dives of specific game titles, uh, be a patron. That's the answer on that. Also, first impressions on games that you saw. Yeah, I'm doing first impression write-ups of games that I have played. Um, so, for example, there's a first impression write-up of Favela's. Uh, on there already, and Reworld, and Santa Maria, and uh, Merlin, mm -hmm. and Indian the, Summer. The patrons voted and, for you to play Merlin, right? Yeah, the patrons supported for me to play Merlin, and then I wrote up my thoughts about Merlin when I was very tired and also in the beginning of a really gnarly head cold, <laughs> so I apologize. 
for that one. But, um, oh, thank you, Danny. Um, yeah, if you didn't know, you can go and back my Patreon for just a dollar a month. You can just be like, I want to do a dollar a video and then limit it to a dollar a month. And that's totally valid and awesome and fine. And that will give you access to all that content. Yeah. Favela. I, lo I love that too much. Um, you can find a link to my Patreon, I believe, down in the description of the YouTube channel. Otherwise, if you go and look at, like, literally any of my YouTube videos, um, it should be down in the description of the YouTube video. So, um, let me just double check that statement. So, like, there's a... Uh, Tiffany Demo's Dragon Castle video or like my Spiel Most Anticipated list. Um, all of those videos down in there or at the very end of the video, there is a link on the screen to my Patreon. Patreon. And the Patreon link is patreon.com slash the one tart. Also that. Yep. <clears throat> Favelas! We can totally do... This is live. Hi, Jepson. Um, we can totally play Favelas. Um, and then another one... I think Favela's is winning right now. You're, you're taking away the thing that was blocking my food. I know. Well, and then the other one that we have for potential play to start would be Indian Summer! Oh. Which we, There's a lot of leaf tiles We kind of had this year. We bit. totally it was, have an Indian was, Summer right now it outside. It was hot. Well, not now, but it was, it was pretty hot. It was in the 90s pretty late, like through September. Oh, well, yeah, but now we have a lot of leaves out. So... Da, da, da. <laughs> um, so, who, basically y'all get to vote. So, um, I guess for vote, we'll do uh, Indian Summer to hide Steve's food um, that he's eating. Uh, favelas, um, Sunny Days, or Topiary. Um, or we'll just start it really nice and easy with Claim, which is the two-player little game. So there you go. Um... I will attempt to track voting for things. All right, so we have a vote for favelas. So that's that's one for favelas, two for favelas, one for Indian summer. Um, I think Eden counts as a favelas. Um, I think favelas is gonna win, y'all. Favelas, favelas. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, cool days. Oh, thanks, Chad. We'll be here probably for the next, like, five hours. Favelas, another Favelas vote. I think Favelas wins. I think it's really safe to say that Favelas wins. Really safe to say. I don't know if anybody's watching on Twitch and would like to vote. But I'm pretty sure Favelas is going to win. That little upside down by your hand, I can't read the name. Oh, this one? This is Claim. This is a two-player tricking game, trick-taking game from Scott Alms, who is the designer of Coaster Park and Kings of Iron Steam and all of the tiny epic games. Um, so yeah. Hammer. I like Scott Alms games. Scott is also a very nice person. Yep. The gist of Claim is um, it's asymmetrical, you, right? Yeah, no, well, no, you no. deal out half the deck. You deal out a quarter of the deck each. You play trick-taking rounds, and whoever wins a trick-taking round gets a card that's in the middle, and the other player gets a random card, because you are both building your hands for the second round of trick-taking. And all Thank of the you, suits do, like, fancy things. So. Um, so the claim is neat, and I do want to play it. Oh, you are? If, yeah, Cottage Garden Cottage Garden's good. I think Favela's solidly wins. So I'm going to update the title of this um, stream bar to say Favela's. Um, Steve will stop eating? Yeah. Or go to the kitchen now that he's not being hidden maybe, by... Maybe I'll go over here while you teach. Yeah. Um, well, that mic is really good, so go to the kitchen. <laughs> We got a new thinking, mic. I was thinking I could shoot right next to the mic. That would be so delightful. Everyone would love that. Actually, while you're up, um, <laughs> well, no, here, just type uh, favelas, please, so we can update the title. 
Yeah. Bam. No, 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 no. Thank you, smartass. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do we're gonna do favelas. I'm so excited. Somebody somebody tweet Chris Bryan and tell him that we're playing his game. For the record, you did say to write favelas, please. I, I did, did, I did. I'm just gonna do a quick little bit of social marketing, social media, to say that this is what we're playing, and then I will teach um how to play. This is super straightforward. Um because these are gonna be I'm gonna cut up this live stream into separate videos on the YouTube channel for reference. So there we go. So first up, favelas! I'm not surprised that this is the first one we're playing. I'm gonna be 100% with you here. Ah, oh, so excited. I really like this one. Okay. <sighs> Ta -da -da. The know, chat picked. What? A certain medium-sized dog likes, likes it when we stream when it's sunny out. Oh, she loves it when I do internet things when it's sunny out. Favelas by Chris Bryan. Uh, and from WizKid Games is first. Uh, WizKids Games is up first. I don't have the URL for don't have the URL for um the stream. Oh, because it's no longer Oh <laughs> Itchy Itchy, no no no. I did she went back in. Maybe. It might be slash live now. It I think it's it slash C slash live. Because they hate me. It is. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's. I'm just manually typing out a URL. This is the most exciting stream of, of your lives. I know. Uh, slash. Are you coming in or are you just barking at a slash. The one tar. Slash live. Okay. Um, boom. It Did didn't, you know it didn't turn out? it into a URL because it does not, fine, that's good enough. Okay. Tweet. Maybe it'll turn it into a URL in the, in the tweet. Who knows? Okay. Um, first up is Favelos. Ooh, okay. So. We can talk about our feelings. <laughs> My feelings about favelas. Okay. Streaming of tweeting YouTube URL. That would be a good one. Okay, so favelas um, is a game designed by Chris Bryant, and it's published by WizKid, um, and it's so pretty. I just hang on. Our, our we're gonna have to make a phone core insert because it, it just so needs one. But I just really. But it looks oh, the really camera's cool. freaking out. Really I'm sorry. Cool. Hang on. Instagram. Let me, let me fix that camera really quickly. Oh, if only we had player cam today. I know, this would be such a good one. Um, the chronic paw licking is really hard, Charles. My mom's dogs have that. The one does. Um, she finds the distraction with treats tends to help. Um, she put a sock on him for a while. Uh, like, like taped a sock or like put a sock up. Um, but I think it just gave him a reason to, to go for his paws more. That really stinks though. Um, okay. So I turned off autofocus and then it was just blurry. That's an improvement, right? Right? You should get laser eye surgery for the camera. That's silly. Okay. There we go. Um, and then let's just like zoom this in a little bit. Do, do, do. Apple bittersweet, you have to watch because it might be um, acidic. Uh, so it might burn their little pawsies. Tootsies. Ah! It's like, there's our table. There you go. Okay. The sun is gone. Sun is gone, Zeno wants sun. Here we go. So this is the insert, which is like non existent. But the tiles are just so colorful and cute, and they're 3D. Um, so yeah. All right, so here we go. Every player is going to go ahead and get, I need to get player cam working again, because this game is so in need of, a, of the player board cam. Every player is going to get one of these boards, and there are 
four of them because this is a four player game and they're all a little different so you'll notice that they're not the same and there's a reason for that so just randomly give one to each player it doesn't really matter what one is then you're going to put the other ones you know in the box or aside you're going to put the beautification council guideline board in the center eh? gorgeous um, the youngest player, or however you want to decide goes first, goes first, but um, whoever that person is rolls all the dice and then puts them in the slot. So the clear one goes up here, and then the other colored ones go in their little colored punch out on this board. Okay? Then there are a whole bunch of tiles. Oh, there's little... Um, score trackers there's cubes that are player colors that are score trackers and that's you just have to pick the color that most speaks to you and then remember it's yours because you will have nothing physically in front of you to remind you that that's your player color unless you want to hold on to the plus 50 i guess to remind you um i am orange steve is blue as is the way of our lives um so yeah then what you're going to do is, depending on the player count, um, you're going to take all these tiles and you're going to randomly make stacks. And you're going to make three draw stacks and there's going to be like a lot of extra tiles, okay, which is good. You want diversity in this game. So for two players, we're going to make three stacks of eight. Um, so there's one stack of eight. Normally Steve does this <clears throat> part of the job. Well, I am tweeting about other things um so just you're gonna see there's a lot of excess tiles and even if you're playing four players there's extra tiles left over which i really like because it makes sure that no two games are the same so you have your three stacks of eight for two player if you're playing three player it's 11 four player is 14 okay then there are special tiles there are um a stack whoa, of special tiles which are the singles so they are only one hex. And you're just gonna randomize that stack and put it someplace close to the beautification board. And then there are, there's some more singles, special um, double sized ones that say year end on the center of them. There are more than you need. You're going to shuffle them. There's five ichi. You need three. So you're gonna shuffle them and you're going to put one out for each. And then, depending on the number of players, you are going to take three of these randomly, add them to the year-end tile, shuffle that year-end tile with those three, ichi. And then you're gonna put these now four, which there's a year-end somewhere in there, on the bottom of one of those stacks of eight. And so I'm gonna do that with each of these stacks. So that I have, that one's a different color, but it's not the year-end one, so who cares? Um, so that I have, at the end of each of these stacks, a somewhat random, the round will end, I know, within the last four tiles of a stack. Um, then you can put two of the stacks to the side. Um, you want the third one where everybody can reach it. And then all the excess tiles, you just so neat, so you can put them away. Okay, ta -da -da. so that's set up. Then you're gonna draw the top three from the first stack and put them out. And now we're ready to play. So, um, how this is gonna work is on your turn, you draw a tile. You always have to draw a tile. Um, you can either draw a tile face up from the market. You can draw a face down tile blind from the stack that we're currently working on. Or you can draw a single tile, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Whenever you draw a tile, you must add it to your player board. When you add tiles to your player board, you must add them so that they are within the confines of your player board. You may not have tiles go out. So you are constrained this entire game to this size area. However, you can build up. That's actually a tiebreaker in the game is who has built the highest. When you place a tile down, if you place it so that one of the tiles that you are placing overlaps a matching tile color, you get to adjust 
the uh, council die of that color. So it I must adjust too. you must sorry yes you must adjust. So I overlapped yellow. So I must adjust the yellow die by either going up or down one pip. It's currently at four, so I can either bump it to five or I can bump it down to three. It's up to me. You'll also notice I could lay over on green, so I could lighten this up so I have a yellow and green. So I would be able to adjust, I must adjust both yellow and green in this instance. Then once I have placed, I replace the tile out here and then it's Steve's turn. Same thing happens if I draw from the top blind, same placement rules apply. Um, some of you may have already noticed there is an odd number of tiles on your player board. So you at some point will probably want a single tile. When you draw a single tile, you draw blind. That color is the one that you're stuck with. You don't have many options. When you place it, if I place it over this yellow, I will still adjust the yellow die. However, when you take a single tile, you must always adjust the clear die. And so again, you either go up or down one pip. So the clear die is on a three, so I can either go down to a two or up to a four. You keep playing like this. I'm gonna put this yellow one back. You keep drafting and placing tiles until the round ends. The round ends when the year end tile becomes visible. If it becomes visible because somebody drew it blind off the top, they get to place that tile in their area like they normally would, but then that's it for the round. Um, you don't do even number of turns, it's just whenever that tile is out, you finish the current turn and that's it, okay? Then you do scoring. So this is where the dice come into play. You evaluate for each color who has the majority of those color squares showing in their player board. So right now, based off of our starting boards, um, whoever has the majority of blue, which in this case would be we're tied because we both have two, we each get five points. It's friendly ties. So if you do have a tie, you'd both get the number of points. Blue, I have the majority of blue because I have two. Steve has one, so I would get two or points. Purple. Or sorry, purple. I have the majority of purple, so I get two points. We're tied on the majority of pink. We split it. Um, Steve has the majority of three, so maybe when I laid that three tile, I wanted to decrease the yellow. Sorry, Steve has the majority on yellow, not the three. So he would get three points, which maybe when I placed this yellow was an incentive for me to lower the value because I knew I wasn't going to get that majority, right? Then the green, we're tied again, so it's a little less interesting. However, if instead of placing the green on top of the green, if I had done this, I could have increased and won the green majority and not had to share it with him. So there's never any reason, you don't have to play a tile with a matching color on top. Like I could put this tile here to increase both my green and my yellow. There's no reason not to, unless I want to specifically raise or decrease a pip value, okay? Once you have scored each majority for a color, you score the bonus one. So the bonus clear die, those points are awarded to any player who has one of every color showing on their board, which right now is both of us because the starting boards always have one of each color. So with that in mind, I think I will just leave that placement that I did. I actually don't, want. I'm gonna do that. Okay. And also color wise, the starting boards are asymmetrical. So I, I only did have, mention that, yes. yeah, I only have one purple and then I think two of everything else. As per the concern of colorblindness, each building is unique. Um, so all the blue buildings have the same features, um, which are, if you are <clears throat> colorblind, they're subtle, but you would quickly learn them. Um, for example, the blue buildings have a big dot window on them and a satellite. The green buildings all have flags. The red buildings have like a rooftop patio and an AC. The purple building has like a weird, I don't know, building window, something like that. So it's like a porch. Or yeah, something. something like that. So that um, was my turn. And then also, even though the dice aren't colored, oh. like the thing around them is. Yeah, and you learn the, the order of them. Um, so once we finish the first round and then we score, then we pull out the next stack of tiles. We play through that stack of tiles just as with the first. We score it. Then we do the third and final stack of tiles and score it. And then that's it. Final score is. Uh, after three round score yep. and then and then winners. And one thing we noticed in a four player game is this stack of singles is there. Oh, the, for the stack whole game. of yeah, that's the stack the of singles game. doesn't refresh. So there's only I don't know twelve ish of these. So these will deplete. But if you go through these early, you won't have single tiles later. 
Yeah, we had um. So you took your turn. The f- last game we played, somebody like went through <clears throat> the single stack super hardcore the first part of the game. Um. Yeah. I will take this tile, which is a blue and a purple. Or will not adjust anything. But it's your turn. Ooh. Hi, Eric. We have a great shot coming out. I'm so I'm getting a pink a pink quiver. Um, Marguerite, if you could just like secretly DM me the shopping list for that, that would be great. Because Steve has a black one and it's great and it's professional and all, but I went to match my hair. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you didn't replace. I didn't. You had one job, Kairos. Does that mean I'm going to be replaced? <sighs> I'm going to talk to management. I've had enough of your shenanigans. I like that restaurant. Really? Yeah. It's not a real restaurant? Question mark? Um, I'm going to place this one covering up this green mm. to bump the green up. Uh, and, and then... I covered up a blue with my pink, so... And then because that we... might not be a oh, white. Maybe I do this too. <clears throat> yeah, then... I do that too. Sorry. And then because you're a good person, you replace the tile. I wasn't done with my turn yet. I'm just saying. I'm Unlike just, you. I'm glad you're a good person. Mm-hmm. And you're replacing it. <laughs> Steve's on thin ice after Altiplano already. He made up for it. Uh, <clears throat> I think blue, both blue and purple, are gonna go up one. Blue is going to go to six, which means if you Hi, cover Levi. the blue, you have to decrease it. And then purple goes to three. Levi, I don't know if you're close. You're probably not close in a way that makes sense to drive up here. But if you want to come play games, you're welcome. I was going to text you, but then I didn't because I'm a bad person. Look, at look, you had one job. <laughs> this game is tricky, okay? No, it's not. It's really not. It, no, it, it is really tricky. So I can't place this like this because it's uneven. You can't really see that on camera. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. But I can... Uh, what are you doing, Kairos? I'm just moving my... In my neighborhood. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to bump blue down <gasps> and pink up. <gasps> <clears throat> and then ooh what oh sorry look why why are you tapping me you don't do it are you like afraid to touch this no it's just it's, have it's, fun it's, Jepson yep have fun Comic Con's great it's a called a su- supernova so I mean I personally wouldn't want to go to a real supernova but an event called supernova I think sounds great is that too nerdy? I'm gonna draw blind. Which you can do. You can do. It might be year end. It's <gasps> year end! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so he got so upset. He like, did you see him fudge his board? Did yeah. you see that? Mm-hmm. Just cheating. Mm-hmm. Cheating. This is the last turn of this round. What are you gonna do, Kairos? Oh no. What are you going to do? <clears throat> I really this want to stream tricky. Essen releases. This, this is one of the... But we got Gen Con games that have been stuck in shipping purgatory for months um, that were supposed to get here before Gen Con, and they just showed up today, and I'm just like... Argh. Anyway, sorry. Ooh... <laughs> very very true, Eric. <laughs> very true. This is this Is anybody is over hard. on Twitch today? No, nobody on Twitch. I need to I need to learn to Twitchify better. I really like the YouTube audience, but um The Twitch I, audience is fun. The Twitch audience is fun and there's more like <clears throat> drive by casuals, so Yeah, Twitch does something about getting people to watch other streams. Come on, AP Pro boy. That is not my name. Yeah, well, might as well be. My only condolence is no matter what you had done, you would have ended the year. So. That. <clears throat> uh, it's is Ex Libris and Bunny Kingdom. 
Okay. Yes, that is correct, Eden. You only get to adjust the dice if you cover the same color. Um, if you cover the, cover the same color, and if you match both colors, you do get to adjust both dice. I am adjusting yes. purple up by one. Okay. So these are done. Whoa. Um, Whoa. What does Chris Brain have to say about that? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to make a foam core answer for this. Mm-hmm. Though I do kind of like that the tiles are just like in the bottom of the box. Uh, did you have a really good Instagram picture of that? It does look so good. It's also if, really easy to shuffle. Okay, we're gonna score. Them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Steve has majority of blue, so he gets five points. Because I'm great. Uh, he also we tie mm-hmm. for purple. Um, so I get four points and he gets four points. Mm-hmm. Um, we tie for pink, <clears throat> so we each get five points. Um, we tie for yellow. What is happening? I didn't get another turn. That's what's happening. Oh, I get three also. Yes, I wasn't there yet. And then uh, I get green yep. for four. One, two, three, four. And then we both are showing all colors, so we both get three points. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's anybody's game, folks. It is. Um. <laughs> okay. So now it's my turn because Steve ended the round. Uh, gotta knock you down a level, Kairos. I mean, this is just this is just a reminder that I ended the year. That's just it's there until I cover it up. It's all your fault. Something, something, something. Oh, not to throw you off from taking your turn, but Netters can join playing Castles of Burgundy the dice game. We'll play next. Next? Do you want to play next? Yeah, we can. Maggie, do you have... Do you... Ma- Maggie, do you have your Castles of Burgundy the Dice game? Because we're going to play it next after Favela's, and you could play along. And Nutters is going to play, too. That would be amazing. Um, we could do some stuff and some things so that other people on the internet could also participate. It's um, Castles of Burgundy, that's COB, right? Yeah, COB. So if I made... If I made some kind of cheesy jokes, mm. it could be... I'm going to take a single. I could call it corn on the cob. Oh, it's a pingle. It's a pingle. Damn pingles. Corn on the that cob. That smells really yummy. <laughs> Your turn's driving you to drink, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't like cider normally, yeah. but this one brand of cider... See a man versus meeple or man oh, x meeple? Man x meeple. Man x It's meeple. not meeple. Sorry. Yeah, it's not verse. Thanks for swinging by. It's square mile cider, and and it's my favorite cider. There it's are, the only cider. There I are think. secondary non-sponsor after Lacroix. There's Steve's secondary sponsor. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm covering my purple. <gasps> are you gonna drop the clear down? I am. <gasps> it's your turn. <laughs> it is raining. Uh, the scoring scores, um, all right, I'm going to cover yellow. I don't know if the scoring score, I can't remember Biblio's scoring. It's the majority color, so whoever has the most blue will score the five points, and if it's tied, everybody scores it. Whoever has the most purple will get the purple, the four points, etc. Um, so, yeah. Just the the dice manipulation itself reminds me of Biblios a lot, but better. Oh, I've also by placing that single there, I have royally screwed myself. Wow. Okay. Yep. Life's, um, life's real hard when you're you. I'm gonna do that to bump that up, and then I will bump that up. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to draw blind from the singles pile. I saw your Instagram, but I'm so jealous you have snow. I want snow. I'm going to swipe right on this, and it's a purple. Um, yes, alcoholic cider is a uh, square mile, not strong bowl. Strong bow. Do not like strong bow. Yeah, this one is a decent, it's somewhat dry, but a little tart and also drinkable. Um, so I will do this. And I will bump this back up to three. Mm-hmm. 
I'm taking another single. Yes, it's what I wanted in life. Um, I'm gonna pop it onto this blue, and then I'm going to lower the blue because I must adjust it, and it can't go up any higher. And then I'm gonna bump that back down. Boom. I will get our copy of COB. Um, I'm gonna do this red yellow and I'm gonna bump yellow up. Where is our copy of the seal? Um, have you checked the castle? Uh, of the, uh, the like off-white purplish one? Yeah. No, I just checked the red one. Have you checked burgundy? <laughs> I checked the blue, the castle of Ikea. Have you checked the felds of Arl? <laughs> Die Bürgen von Burgund. Die Bürgen von Burgund. Oh, that's so funny. Das Würfelspiel zum Strategie Klassik Klassier Klassiker. Yeah. Mit Solo Variant. Ooh. Okay. It says to five players, but you could play with five hundred. If you were willing to put up with the AP of that. Okay. What have you done? Things are pretty high. What have you done? Plenty. Hmm. 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 Yeah, one thing I like about this game, because you're building up, is it takes advantage of the fact that tiles are thick as opposed to cards, which are basically flat. It like, uses the different levels pretty effectively. You doing a single? Yeah. Taking a Tinder turn? No. What? What? Doing that. No, that's a stupid idea. Doing that. Wait, did you just cover a red? I covered... Oh, no, I covered a blue. Sorry. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> wow, those are... Those are words that are about fighting. I call them fighting words. How did Seattle forget winter last, na last year? It was crazy winter. Um, I am going to bump up to five and then bump red down to four. Look at this, look, 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 look. I replaced. <laughs> uh, oh, before I forget, it's your turn. Somebody was saying that you should cheat while I was away from the table. <laughs> that would be very unlike me. No, he cheats while I'm at the table. There you go. That's true. Uh, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Building you... the tallest tower possible, apparently. Do you even know what you're doing? No. That's good. At least one of us knows. I'm following the beautification council guidelines, but not the building codes. <laughs> yeah, sort of what we're both doing here. Um, I'm bumping that up, and I'm bumping that up. And then wow. I replace. Yeah, it's your turn. Hey, Kabuki Kid! Um, I'm going to go here and bump a green. Bump her down, bump her down. Bumping green up. What's he doing? Not I even just, he knows. I, I don't, just, I don't even know my strategy. I was wondering, yeah, if you knew what you were doing. I'm actually not sure. I do. Doing a blind. <gasps> Oh, hey, Willie. 
I guess I can slot it here, but it lowers the value the of green, kid. which is not what I really wanted, but that's fine. Kairos' turn. Well, Kairos is going to go here. What is happening? What is happening? We'll probably have like one week of frost or something this Kairos winter. Kairos is going to go here. And it's going to drop red down. I'm really, if nothing else, I'm excited that I can just drive 45 minutes and eat snow. Your turn. <sighs> All right. I'm hoping... I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to do that. No, I'm going to do this so I screw myself less. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm bumping both of these back up. Be the year end, be Whoa. the year end. No! Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if Tiffany should get another turn. You, I won't get one, you jerk. <laughs> I mean, unless I, unless I go to Singletown. That's true. Do you want to be single again? I mean... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow. No. That... That does sound pretty good. Being single? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Are you... You didn't adjust any. Nope, that's my final answer. <sighs> okay, blue majority is Steve for Goodbye, five Chris points. Goodbye, Chris Bryan. Five points. Uh, he wins purple with a single one for five points. That's gross. I win pink for five points. Um, Steve wins yellow for six. Oof. Uh, and then I get go. Oh, we tie for green. Yep. Damn it. And then Steve gets one point for having all the colors. Yep. I gotta catch up a lot. I blame Chris Bryant. Of course, I don't know if it's you probably can't see the cross section of this, but like this, this is. Yeah, you're really going for that tiebreaker. I have level five here, everything else is at level two or three. So my, my flexibility is not great. I'm going to drop that in. Oh, we re-roll. Oh, we haven't been re-rolling. Oh, that's the worst. Okay, sorry. So between rounds, you're supposed to re-roll all of the dice. I was like, something is weird. Yeah, something was really weird. Um, that would not be... So, uh... Asterix game. Asterix game. Sorry. Um, either way, I do that to increase the pink. And yellow, is, there's no yellow down there, so. Oh, and then you do the thing that you do at the end of your turn. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> um, Angela! I think I will boost green up. It's a rain burn. It's totes a rain burn. Boost green up, and I will boost red down. I th if there's if this game has taught me one thing, it's that three and four are opposite sides of the die. <laughs> and when you want to switch, every side adds up to seven. Did you know that? No, I know that, but I'm saying like in terms of which way to flip the die. Like if it's a three or four, you always flip it. To the Here, let me do side. that thing that you never do. Oh, thank you. I'm really glad you're stepping up and really embracing your role as the the tile flipper. Okay. Oh, thanks for being a chin rest. <laughs> You're the best. You're in a good mood. Um, I should leave you home alone with the dogs more often. Uh, hmm. I'm going to drop this right there, I think. Boom. And then I adjust this. It's at one, so it has to go up. I'm going to do a very similar thing. Um. Hey, hush. 
I guess I have to. It's a bummer. If we knew anybody in Portland going to BGG, I would happily send some of these games with them to play. Um, oh, we do. Tony. Yeah, Tony. I, I don't was know say... if Tony would want to, but we'll offer if he wants to bring any of our SN titles to BGG. There is the library there, so anything they have in the library, uh, they should have. Usually they have a good amount of SN. Because that was kind of the They should have everything that we have uh, there. Oh, but this goes up. That was one of the original points of BGG, right? Was to do If somebody SN wants releases. to in invite Tony, he's working, but, you know, he can work and be here. Wow, you're going hard on green. Just like, just like how the government goes hard on crime. Um, yeah, that's that's a dark history. Hmm. Here's I'll do that. And I'm back in the one of every color race. I'm so losing this game. I mean. You're nice. Whoa. Going to Singletown. Yeah, you are. Bumping that to a four. And I'm bumping yellow down to a five. You know, if I were counting the tiles, I would know. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do. All right, that. later, later, Jepson, go paint your daughter green. Possibly a Hulk costume. Gamora. Gamora. Mm hmm. Ah. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good costume. Oh, Gamora. Yeah, that's a great costume. Your turn. Does this video game have microtransactions? Only if you want, Andy. My PayPal address is... <laughs> uh... No. I'm gonna draw blind. Green and blue, you say. Okay, green has to go up to six. Has to go up to six, he says. It has to. Hi, Miss Ichi. Yeah, you're a Barker. Mm. Oh, I took, I almost took blind. the best picture today on a walk, but um, my camera is too slow. There was like a, a large hole in the ground surrounded by caution tape with a single hard hat and like water. It was like a construction hole, but Zena poked her nose under the tape and it was totally xena csi but she moved before the picture took because my phone's a little too slow we joke that um xena and ichi are uh neighborhood beats uh no they're neighborhood cops and they beat walk cops, yeah they they walk the beat they walk the neighborhood smelling all the dog smells checking it and like xena tries to go door to door she like legit tries to go door to door it's a whole thing there's a mini series being written um about the 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 new pup on the force um his the old, name is xena the and old the, grizzled cop yeah that's that would be eg i'm gonna do that and adjust nothing two lady cops who are also dogs yep yep and and it's just all about how eg is a hard 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 dog she's seeding some stuff Whoa. and she kind of yes that's what i wanted from life um, and she just ignores, she like, she doesn't follow regulations and doesn't believe in being a community outreach, whereas Zena tries to follow the book and likes to, to be engaged in the community and say hi to everyone. Also occasionally doesn't, but maybe never gets a warrant. We have spent when, way too yeah. much time walking our dogs, talking up this, this universe. Mm -hmm. Zena has, has never actually gotten a warrant and occasionally. She has not. And yeah, she's searched people's cars and she, houses and houses and, and yards. yards. Yep. Trees. Tried to chase down suspects. Squirrels. 
<laughs> it is a buddy cop story. It's 100% a buddy cop story about our dogs. <laughs> we do have the GoPro dog mount, but Xena would be he- like so terrified to wear it. And yeah, EG is too this. low to wear the one because the camera hits the ground. <laughs> So yeah. Anyway, isn't there, can't the camera also go on? The it can back? go on her back. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of movement on the back though. No, there is. Anyway, okay. Anyway, um, yellow went down, and it ended. Okay, blue retied. So I get six, and you get um, six. Six. Purple. Purple I get one. You get one point. Woo-hoo. Might win you the game. Um. Pink, no one, no one gives yeah. an eye, a rat about pink. Uh, yellow, I get four. It's not gonna be enough. Um, and then green, I get six. Yeah, I get one, six. two, three, four, five, six. And then neither of us, get neither the, of us are in the clear. Beautification but bonus. But I get. But Steve stomps me. Plus. Steve stomps me. I, I lost it in that first round. I, it was not. We also should have re-rolled after the first round, which we did not do. So it is a giant asterisk. It is a giant asterisk. Game. But that's favelas. Uh, also, we like it. Are you destroying the slums? Wait, get the year end tiles out. Well, no. I was going to say if you want to see the. Oh, I guess I can't show the. This is the board at the end. I wanted to maybe show the cross section. I believe you. This you works. you can do it. There you go. But yeah, so the cross section is actually super cool when you're playing because your tiles go up into the stratosphere. And by the stratosphere, he just means the sky. They're not that high. Yep. <laughs> All right, Steve wins with 50 bad points, and Tiffany loses with 39. 39. Um, David in chat asks if anybody has Deus. Um, wasn't, wasn't Deus the one? Deus is the one that I keep wanting to try. And I haven't had a chance to try. I keep confusing it with the one with the totems. You yeah, the you you keep forgetting it with um, uh, Elysium. Elysium, yeah. I keep thinking because they came out around the same time and have similar themes. So yeah, when you put the game away, I recommend that you separate the double tiles that are the year in tiles um, and the single tiles. Yep, and then everything else. If you don't have an amazing custom insert, which someone may or may not make, um, I don't think I will. I mean, as long as there's a bag for both the I singles. I think that, I like that that is the way that that is, though. Yeah. Thanks Where's for throwing we're saying, the year in. I didn't have, uh, you, it was right, I didn't. That's for those. Yeah, Deluxified. Ooh, Deuce is in the Asmati holiday sale for 20 bucks. That's tempting. I've heard, I mean, I've heard good things about it, but I have never played it. Um, Favela's 3D, uh, there was, uh, uh, Corey Young was working on a game called, uh, Santori, uh, or Santorini, which was not the one that came out, um, that was a 3D perspective game that used similar tiles and it built vertically. It was an entirely different game and mechanic, um, but yeah. I will say also if you've played Unearth and you just mess around with the 3D looking tiles, like that's totally what I used to do after we played Unearth and then this came out and I'm like, it's a game about messing with the tiles after you're done playing Unearth. I think these went in here and this was the dice. I think just the dice went in there. No, the, the singles were with the year end, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just... You know, agree to disagree. Deuce two player. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Corey's Santorini game got scrapped just because uh, the cost of production was just completely unrealistic. Because it was three Which is stuff? sort of all of Corey's things. I love I love Corey, but he um he likes he likes nice things. You know, so that's favelas. Let's talk about thoughts and feelings about uh, favelas. Well, so favelas, one of the great things is you can spin the box and it's still right side up. Almost. Yeah, they. I just wish they had Chris's. I wish that they had put Chris like Whiz Kids the wrong way or something. So, or, but yeah. it would have been awful on shelves. So I get that. Yeah. Um, one of the prettier games we brought back from Essen, and we did bring back Topiary, Sunny Day, and Favelas, so those are like our three <laughs> pretty tile-laying series. Um, a lot of fun. It's definitely... It's hard. 
word. It's definitely Bernie and very much you're always at that margin of is it is it worth tying my opponent or having one less tile or like can I catch up or can I affect the dice especially in two player. Um, this is in I, re I really really like favelas. We really enjoy favelas. Um, I did a first impression for my Patreon um, over on my Patreon. That'll go on BGG soon, uh, if not already. And it basically is like out of all of the abstract tile placement games that we got, I feel like this one is the most um, casual, consumer friendly, and also um, the most brain burny. Um, Cause like it's sunny day topiary in this, and I feel like this is the most like ma mass. Well, no, this is like, well, this is like the mass audience easy one to teach, and it's also, I think, the most interesting strategically to play. Whereas with Topiary at higher player counts, it's kind of just chaos, um, and then Sunny Day is fun, but it is, it's very trivial. It's, it's, it's a kid's game. It's targeted towards a kid's game, yeah, it's six, but six I just really up, enjoy. So. Um, this is, this has got some legs if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Sunny Day is like play, um, play at the end of the night or play at the beginning or play in between other games, which I really like. Or when you're like really brain dead, yeah. But yeah, Favelas, I, I just really like how it plays it's two so player. It's so pretty. The art is amazing. Uh, Quan Chai did the art. Chris requested that, and it's so good. Yeah. It's so pretty. And it just, it it takes what I really liked from Biblios, which is the dice, the dice manipulation scoring stuff. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I really like it. Yeah. Uh, Netter says that she thinks she prefers Favelas to Unearth, and I would agree with that. Oh, yeah. It has, it, I mean... Unearth is not really my kind of game anymore. Unearth is, Unearth is fun. It has some, at least for me, it has a little bit of, like, fiddle to it, at least in terms of trying to teach it, that Favelas just doesn't, it doesn't have any of the fiddle. Yeah. Fiddle so, factor. If you would like to find um, things... Oh, I didn't know that. Is WizKid owned by Asmodee? I don't know. Wow. Maybe that's a partner? I don't know. Well, I there's, don't know. there's an SDVM Games on there. I don't know whose that is. No idea. But, um, this is, it's, it's from WizKids. I don't remember, I don't oh, think. Oh, oh, oh. I think. Distributed yes. in Europe by SDVM, which is owned by Asmodee. Yes, but WizKids is, is North America, and I don't think they're currently owned by no. Asmodee. Um, so this will be coming to a friendly local game store near you, I believe, in um, December or Q1. I can't remember exactly, but um, I like it a lot. It's very pretty, and if you like... I think this is a good game if you are somebody that likes um, abstract tile placement games. I think this could be a game that you play with your friends to trick them into liking um, abstract tile placement games. So... Yeah, uh, we it was really funny. Like we had a friend who's not crazy into abstract tile placement games at Essen, and like he would be like, "What games do you have?" Because he brought no games, and we had a bunch of games from pre-orders and because we have early access um, to pick up our titles with publishers, and everything we pulled out was tile abstract. It's like, like do you want he play? enjoyed every single one, but he still was like, "Oh, again." Uh, yeah. It's so. like. There's yeah, do you want to play Favelas, Topiary, or Sunny Day? Because we're tired and those are the only things we've learned. Cool. That was Essen. Yeah, so uh, according to Willie, according to Cool Stuff Inc., uh, December 13th is when this drops. So there you go. Favelas. Yep. Or Chris Brand. right now. Don't do that to my games. Also, I just really want to say the rule book is so good and the back writing is so good. If you know Chris and you like Chris's stuff, that he does and just like his attitude like it just seeps through like for example oh the person who has most recently been to rio de janeiro goes first if this results in a tie put the game away and never play it again or randomly pick a starting point. so there's that all right that is favelas thank you for watching and tuning in uh and watching this favelas if you're not watching live we're doing like an all-day board game marathon today which is why this might seem a little like random in some chats so that's what happened here uh if you are watching live what we're going to do now is we're going to uh pick the next game which will be castles of burgundy the dice game um and if you want to play along with us uh there will be some information and links that you can get to help you play along. But if you are live right now and you want to watch and hang out, you can just stay where you are 
on the live page. I'm going to shut down the stream so that Favela's is its own helpful little video. And then I'll start it back up again with the new tile for Castles of Burgundy, the dice game. As so, they say, don't touch that channel. Don't touch that channel. We'll be right back with Castles of Burgundy, the dice game. And if you're not watching live, you should subscribe on Twitter or subscribe on YouTube or turn on the notifications on YouTube so you'd be oh, made aware when we go live so you could watch these things live. So there you go. Awesome. That was the spiel. We'll be back after this short break. Also, this spiel was in October in oh, Germany. Oh, 